Hi and welcome to Fun Swedish. Today we will do a video that has been very requested from one of our followers. It took some time to make this video and we might offend some Swedes by making it. But here it comes. The question is, do Swedes have an accent when they speak English? No, I don't think so. Uh, well, there is actually a Swedish accent. Even if Sweden ranks super high in the English Proficiency Index, you can still hear something that can make you notice that it's a Swede talking in English, including me. Some people call this way of talking svengelska. This is not unique for English. Same thing happens when Swedes speak other foreign languages as well. The Swedish accent will sneak in. The good thing is that by listening carefully to how Swedish speak your language, you will also get clues about how Swedish logic works, which is also useful for you when you're learning Swedish. But what is the typical Swedish accent? Let's take svengelska as an example. The first thing you will notice is this singy songy melody we have when we speak English. And why do we do that? Because we also have this singy songy melody when we speak Swedish. I am from Sweden. Sweden. No, yes, it has a very different cadence in Sweden. We talk, it's very, the melody is very different. <laughs> so we basically keep that when we speak other languages as well. It's hard for us to get rid of it. You will also notice that Swiss don't always pronounce the vowels the English way. We will pronounce them the Swedish way instead. So it will look something like this. A, O, Ö, E, I, I. Like when we say Sweden instead of Sweden. I am from Sweden, yes. So by noticing that Swedes make this mistake, make sure that you don't do the same thing but reverse. In other words, pronouncing the vowels like in your language. The second thing you will notice is that Swedes make the vowels extra long when there's just one consonant coming after a vowel and extra short when there are two consonants. Let's look at an example. Here, two Swedish men are flying a model airplane while having lots of fun and explaining everything in svengelska. Let him prepare this dangerous stunt. Don't try at home. Too dangerous, really dangerous. Okay, it's so dangerous we can't see plane. Now we plane see, yes. Okay, here he comes. He prepares. And he flies in. And he passes us. <laughs> that was a really funny. Let's have a look at some of the quotes from this video. Don't try at home. Here it comes. That was really funny. This video represents the Swedish accent at its finest. I find these men very cute. And in this video, you will also see a great footage of Swedish nature in the background. We at Fun Swedish also teach us Kul Spanska, Fun Spanish, to Swedes. And we can sometimes hear Swedes doing the same thing but in Spanish, pronouncing Spanish vowels the Swedish way. So instead of saying una cerveza por favor, they would say una cerveza por favor. Swedes will pronounce the vowels the Swedish way because they're using the Swedish pronunciation logic while they're speaking a foreign language. This is of course not unique for Swedes. A lot of people speak a foreign language with their language accent, at least in the beginning, until they get used to the new way of pronouncing things. So if you hear a foreigner speaking your language in a wrong way, be understanding and patient with them, because you probably do the same when you speak another language. Let's look at more example of Swinglish. But before we do that, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. There's some English letters or letter combinations that Swedish people have a hard time pronouncing, mainly because we don't really have these sounds in Swedish. The first one is J. In Swedish, we will pronounce this letter more like the English Y. 
So the consequence of this is that some Swedish people would actually pronounce this word jump to jump or juice becomes jus. You are a big doo-doo this time. And sometimes we pronounce things so badly that it even sounds like another word. For example, joke becomes yoke. Another hard one for Swedes is the letter combination CH, the CH sound. So the word cheap can become sheep, China becomes China, and chair becomes chair. And our Spanish students sometimes say chico instead of chico. We do this because we don't really have the ch sound in Swedish, so that's why it's so difficult for us. And maybe the Swede is talking about the latest gossip with another Swede and they say he was cheating on her <laughs> instead of saying he was cheating on her. Uh -huh. Wait a minute! W is also hard for us and we have a tendency to pronounce it more like a V or V sound. So for example, we in Sweden becomes vi in Sweden. And sometimes, for some weird reason, we reverse it and pronounce words with a V in it like a W. For example, Viking becomes Viking. Super weird. In Sweden, we had Vikings. Don't ask me why we do this. The TH combination is also tricky for us. So for example, the word this and that becomes this and that. And think can sometimes become think. I don't think so. I don't think so. I personally struggle a lot with the words beard, beer and bear. I really have to work hard here to make it sound okay but I really struggle with these three words. And I have confused many English speakers by saying that I want to have a beard or a bear instead of a beer. And even if I have studied English since I was eight years old, I can still not pronounce or spell the difference between these three words. How do you do it? So English speakers out there, can you please help me figure out these three words? So, to sum up, Swedes do have an accent, hopefully a cute one, when we speak English or any other language. And by learning it, you will understand more the Swedish logic and hopefully even speak better Swedish. Are there any other words we mispronounce while we speak English or your language? Do you have any funny examples? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. Hey, do! Give me your, give me your.